And if you're a feminist, which hand? Left or left? Left. left. For feminist sisters, for other comrades, for the rights, it's a choice. So I decided to come out and ensure that we are stopping this in a very radical way. We didn't care where we are heading, but we decided, no, we must, we must stop this. decided to intersect our issues as feminists and coming up with this community-based organization and our community-based organization which is Feminist for Peace, Rights and Justice Center was brought up with women who were sexually violated before. Marital rape, FGM which is sexual violence, defilement, gang rape and different. And these women we had to sit down, speak together and we found that we had a common story and we had to fight SGBV. I went into about eight slums in Nairobi speaking to women human rights defenders, both male and female, <clears throat> on what their security environments were like, but also what their security needs were. And now the conversation shifted and girls started sharing their story. And I realized some of us shared perpetrators. Some of the perpetrators harmed my elder sisters. They harmed my neighbors. So they normalized the situation because nobody was reporting and nobody was speaking about sex issue. And also look, we also looked at what were some of the challenges they encountered and how, what did they propose as uh, ways of overcoming the challenges. And so after one and a half months, we were able to put together the information, which then ultimately became the, the toolkit we have today, the online toolkit we have today for women human rights defenders. Uh, the toolkit is uh, just like you have uh, a box with spanners and hammers and all those uh, instruments to fix your car, the same concept with the toolkit. We have uh, skills and knowledge put together to help the toolkit organizers better do their work in their settlements. And so they said for us to be able to do this well, we need to design and implement a campaign, yet we do not have sufficient knowledge and skills on campaigning. So PBI comes in as a support to enable them to do their work better in their settlements. So they act as a catalyst of change because they are locals and they are better known to their people and they understand their human rights situations better because they live in those settlements. And so just for ownership, uh, we support them to do what they do a well-established community that is so much angry, a community that is yearning for change, a community that don't wait for people to defend their rights, a community that all of us are toolkit organizers. Everyone is a toolkit organizer. A community that is so peaceful when you're working on matters of women development as a toolkit organizer. So through the discussions in the town hall meeting and a survey that was conducted, we realize that we have low conviction of perpetrators of uh, this offense. And so currently we're in the process of analyzing what are the root causes uh, to this uh, problem. People are not prosecuted because reporting is low. People are too afraid to report. Or police trivializes their reporting. So even when you go to the police, instead of them taking your reporting seriously, they start trivializing and asking new stupid questions like, but why did you resist? But others will tell you, do you have, is there a witness? Of course, in most cases, there will be no witness. So a lot of people feel discouraged to report. And then there are those who are bold enough to report, and then the case collapses along the way. And it will collapse for various reasons. 
and he ensured that it is reducing. And if it was happening by then, girls could sit down, speak about it. And then for us, it was reporting these people and some of us attending the court processes and ensuring that we sit down and we help women in healing slowly by slowly. For me, resilience has been my pillar. To come out very strongly, even if I'm down, even if I'm down to my lowest level, it's just to challenge power every day, to understand women are strong and everything that they're doing in the community doesn't make us happy and we are watching all these things. I am feeling very positive about this whole thing.